begin with breaking news tonight out of Cleburne County, where a four-hour standoff is now over. Thanks for joining us. I'm Ashley Ketz. This all went down at the Cleburne County Sheriff's Office, where a former deputy barricaded himself inside the building with a shotgun. KRK Force Susan L. Corey has been on the scene all night. Susan, what can you tell us about what happened? Well, Ashley, investigators have just finished clearing out this area after former deputy Todd Maxey was armed and barricaded here inside the Cleveland County Sheriff's Office for hours tonight. Now, this parking lot was actually totally blocked off. You can see, though, it is back open now. Now, this was the scene earlier. I told the call first came in around 4.30 this afternoon. You can see dozens of investigators were out here, including state police and SWAT teams. Now, according to the sheriff's office, Maxie had a shotgun when he walked into the lobby and barricaded himself inside a bathroom. Investigators say Maxie kept threatening to shoot himself or any police who tried to take him into custody. Now, SWAT crews were out here trying to negotiate with him, and I'm told that did play a big role in Maxi surrendering. Now, we did learn that Maxi was fired back in March of 2017 for an ethics violation, which he was later cleared from, and he was also accused of trying to pass a stopped school bus. We do know Maxi was also arrested this week on a domestic battery charge. Right now, Maxi is in custody. I'm told he will be held in jail overnight. No word on any possible charges. The big thing law enforcement out here keep stressing, though, is how this night was a success since no one was injured. Live in Heber Springs, Susan L. Corey, back to you. Susan, thanks very much. As mentioned, KRK was breaking this story on our app earlier today, and we will be following it for you throughout the night. If you'd like to follow this and other breaking news stories, you can download the app in the App Store or Google Play.